Hi, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with a brand new McFarlane Toys My Hero Academia Todoroki figure. It has lights and sounds. It's 12 inches tall. There is some articulation. I can't wait to get this open and show it to you guys. Now I did... I may have been peeking at this on Amazon. There is a pre-order available on Amazon and Amazon is not getting them until the end of December. So then I was wandering through the aisles of Walmart and guess what was on the shelf. I about lost my mind, had to purchase it immediately. So guys, I am super stoked about this. There are a couple of new toys that either came out or are coming out. I don't know if these were shelved early or if maybe Amazon's getting them late. I don't know. Everything's been weird with Corona uh, deadlines, but there is also uh, a set of these foam cannon things that Bakugo has and they're for kids. They did have those on the shelf as well and I thought about it but they're 20 bucks right now and it wasn't really worth it for me. <laughs> um, and then there's going to be a 5 inch one as well and I don't really know why they're doing this 5 inch one because they've already released several of the action figures in the 5, 6 inch scale so I don't really know on that but Super excited about this. This is for ages 6 and up. It's made by McFarlane Toys. It is Shoto Todoroki. This is the Ice and Fire character. And y'all, oh, he's so cool. When he presses his belt, he lights up and makes the sound effects, which I will show you guys. Here's the back of the box, which I showed you a little bit of already. And then there are the sides. It's for ages 6 and up. I wasn't sure if I told you guys that or not. Okay. So as far as opening on this, he has eye tags around both of his feet, his waist, each elbow, and then he should fall free after that. So I'm going to cut these several eye tags and then get him out of the box for you guys. Okay, it came out much easier than I was expecting, and I am so, so excited about this. Also, good news, he has an on and off switch on the back of him. So here is the switch here. Right now, it is switched to on. If I switch it this way, it will be off. And I don't know if I can get it close enough that you can actually read this on the back, but it does say on and off on either side of him right there and i'm gonna show you of course up close i've got my camera really low down so that's why you're seeing it bent funny but there's so much detail you guys he's so pretty oh and look at the ice and the fire and everything this reminds me very much of avatar the last airbender so maybe that's why i'm so attached also i mean he's got both powers how cool is that elsa would be jealous i'm just saying guys all right so, when you press the middle belt buckle, it is actually a button. It lights up and makes the sound effects. This is so cool. I'm going to show you with the lights off as well, which it's not that dark in here. So, oh, I have other lights on, but it's a little bit better. I'm going to... I'm gonna turn a few more lights off. He does stand on his own, which is super, super nice, y'all. This is a gorgeous figure. I turned a few more lights off, but I still have the blinds open and the sun is out, so I'm trying. Here you go. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. I kind of want him to be a room guard so that he's motion activated and someone walks in the room and he's just like, oh, you know, I mean, it was just kind of like super epic. I am so excited about this toy. I know he doesn't do a whole lot. He does have a full ball joint in his neck. Well, actually, I guess just a twistable ball joint it doesn't really up down here, but he does have a twistable joint in his neck. I was looking this up online and the online descriptions all say that it has five points of articulation, which I didn't quite get there, unfortunately, but I did find a couple more points of articulation that I had missed. His arms actually do move up and down here. Sorry, I'm holding this with one hand, so it's a little difficult to show you, but he does have a full spinning joint in each of his arms. So they, do they actually spin 360 degrees? No, not quite, but almost all the way around and then back down. And then, of course, he does have the 
head spin as well. So that's three points. You would think he would have the other two in his leg somewhere, but nothing seems to move. I was hoping maybe the boots, it's the only other place where I can see anything that might be a joint, but it does not move at all. So I don't know about that. I'm not sure if they were thinking about making five and then changed their minds or what happened, but he does have three points of articulation. This is so cool. I really do wish he had more articulation. I'm kind of sad that he is mostly just a figure, but it is nice that they did add the light and sound feature and he's, um, he's lightweight, but not too lightweight, but you can definitely give this to a smaller child to play with and it won't be an issue. Here. Oh, so cool, you guys. I forgot I had turned the lights off, so I'll turn them back on so that you can see better. And you can actually see he does have different color eyes. One blue and one, I think, like brown or green or something. Gray. I don't know, you guys. I'm slightly colorblind, but so cool, you guys. I'm kind of excited that he doesn't have knee joints, actually, because then he stands very easily. This is very nice for a lot of the younger children. So... Super excited. If you want to get your younger kids into My Hero Academia, this is where it's at. Even if they are not watching the show, this is a really fun toy with lots of imaginative type things that come out of it. And a lot of your younger kids have probably seen Frozen and that sort of thing. So they get the idea of ice powers and they could, you know, infer from that the fire powers as well. So this is so cool, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought of him down in the comments below and which ones you're wanting to see. I would love to see a whole bunch of these big action figures. This is cool. I would really love to see it as more of an action figure, more joints and things like that, but that would also significantly raise the price of them. So mm, I don't know, but I definitely want to see more of them. I'm kind of sad that there's only three things that I know of that are coming out because I saw them on the back of the box and I did see the uh, arm things inside the store, but other than that, I don't know what else is coming or when we will get them. One other thing I did not mention about him, you are going to need a tiny screwdriver to get to his battery compartment, which is right back here. He does take three LR44 batteries. Those are little button cell batteries. They're AG13 or LR44, same, same thing, compatible batteries. So did want to mention that to you guys, that's where you change those batteries are out and you are going to want to change them from the ones that come with it in the stores. So let me know what you guys thought of this down in the comments below. If you have not had a chance to subscribe yet, please do hit that red subscribe button down below as well. You can pause the video so that you have a chance to do that. And then hit the thumbs up button to leave a like, share this video with your friends and family, go head over to my channel and check out all my other toy reviews, games, collectibles, all sorts of stuff on there. And until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.